Here's a simple experiment. We have a bag of cornstarch, and I'm going to mix this with water. And this is something you can get in your kitchen. So I'm going to pour in some cornstarch in the beaker, a lot of cornstarch. Then I'm going to add a little bit of water into the same beaker. Now the next thing you should do is we're going to mix this to make a mixture. So the cool thing about the mixture of cornstarch and water is if you gently play with, if you stir the cornstarch gently, it actually flows it's like liquid. But the thing is if you start to do some severe motion or you know you try to stir it really fast it actually becomes like solid and it breaks so you can really you know take out a chunk of cornstarch I want to show you a mystery here we have a spinning wheel it's driven by a motor and this motor is actually connected to a, um, to a battery, so it's driven at a constant voltage. As you can see, this uh, gear is rotating as a, at a constant speed. Now, I'm going to dip this uh, rotating flywheel into the fluid underneath the, the flywheel. So if the fluid is just a typical fluid like water, the flywheel will still ro rotate, but slower. But because of the fluid we have here is cornstarch, and cornstarch is really unique. Um, thickening fluid, it thickens when you stir it. So when I do this, when I dip the flywheel into the cornstarch, you see the motor stalls. It's because the, the fluid becomes so viscous that stops the rotation of the motor. But what I haven't told you is that the entire device is actually mounted on a speaker. And this speaker is able to vibrate the cornstarch up and down vertically. And as I switch on the speaker the strange thing is you can see the flywheel starts to rotate again and if we switch it off it stops and we can do this back and forth repeat and it seems that we have some control over the viscosity or the flowability of cornstarch here by just switching on and off the speaker and in this video we're going to explain how this experiment works you can think of the cornstarch in this container as comprised of fluid and these little tiny cornstarch particles suspended in that fluid. And when you're shearing the cornstarch, those particles end up making clusters and those clusters rotate together and they disrupt the flow and that's what creates the thickening behavior. Now, last time we showed that uh, these clusters uh, behave asymmetrically. And what do I mean by that? Um, it turns out that when you compress the particles towards one another, because of contact interactions, they uh, are able to sustain this cluster. But the minute you pull them apart, the particles are no longer in contact, and that makes the force keeping those contact chains together asymmetric. This asymmetry uh, allows us to come up with a strategy for taming oobleck. So here's, how, here's the idea. The idea is that in addition to the main shearing direction that we use, okay, in order to create these, these clusters that are aligned along the direction of flow, what we're going to do is we're going to put in a slight oscillatory shear in the orthogonal direction. So we're going to move the bottom plate. In addition to moving it forward, we're also going to move it side to side at the same time. And what that does is that as the part, as this shearing plates move to the side, it pulls these chains apart. Okay? And that breaks up the clusters and allows us to change the viscosity of the oobleck on demand. Now, in the case of the experiment that we showed you earlier, um, what happens is that the flywheel is creating the initial shearing force that's creating these clusters. And what the speaker does is it vibrates it perpendicularly to the flywheel. So that's the same as creating the clusters in this direction, 
and then vibrating it side to side in order to break these clusters up. And that vibration has to be a very low amplitude and just high enough frequency so that you can break these uh, uh, clusters up without forming new clusters in the orthogonal direction. Now, wh why is this so important? Um, many industrial processes deal with pastes. These are particles that are suspended in a fluid and uh, because of that, they shear thicken, just like the cornstarch does. And to, to demonstrate this to you, um, I have here some cornstarch that we've put in. And I'm, I'm literally going to, you know, like this fluid really, I mean, it flows terribly. And you can see the, the it's just not a normal material. And the more I shake it, the harder it is to get it to flow. And this is the kind of problem that uh, uh, industry faces every day. So what if we could figure out a way of now tuning the behavior of the cornstarch to make it flow more easily. And that's what this strategy of shearing orthogonally does. It allows us to control the viscosity of the cornstarch by something like a factor of 100. And if we can reduce the viscosity by a factor of 100, then we can make it easy to flow and solve many of these industrial problems.